Sergeant. I'm Command Sergeant Major Sheldon Watson. Currently, I, I am the Battle Group Command Sergeant Major, the Senior Enlisted Advisor to Command, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Ray, who is the Battle Group Commander. Being here, I think it's a lot easier to organize an event such as the New Asian Foot March because I've waited 22 years back in the state and I've had two opportunities here over the last 90 days to partic participate in the New Asian Foot March. And, uh, Seeing the level of soldiers that turn up this morning, despite waking up at zero one to be here, is still a remarkable out, um, uh, outcome. So I think the message is being spread, and I think the opportunities that are here, we're being cap um, capitalized on. And I think uh, the mission is definitely something I would go back and advocate for other units to be a part of. I think looking at it, you see that we are willing to support each other and come together despite of what the events are, whether it's uh, the Norwegian Foot March or a Spur Ride or, or any event, anything that um, we put on the calendar, calendar and invite our nation, the other nations to, they're more than happy to participate. And that kind of reinforced what we're doing here to let us know that um, even though we come from different walks of life and different nations, we're willing to do what it takes to, in order to strengthen our bonds and strengthen the alliance that we've had, we've had here in the battle group. So we talk about readiness. Um, we talk about ACFT, we're constantly making modification. I think this is a good stressor to show what we can do in the event that we have to decide to go 18.6 miles. I think many of these soldiers today, they feel more empowered. Um, some of them trained for it, some of them didn't. But at the end of the day, when they finish, they come across the finishing line knowing that they're capable of doing something that they probably thought they couldn't. So in terms of readiness, this will go back and permeate through the, through the ranks and soldiers will see them and say, okay, I could do that too. I could be motivated to do it, to do it uh, the next time. So it pushes soldiers to achieve a higher standard of physical fitness. I'm Sergeant Daniel Kim. I'm 6'8 Whiskey, combat medic specialist uh, in 1 Night Cav, 2nd Brigade, uh, first Cav Division. So today I participated in something called Norwegian Foot March. It's a event where uh, participants will march for 30 kilometers in a given um, route with 25 pounds or 11 kilograms of weight on their back. For my situation, it's, it's my first time trying out the Norwegian Foot March and I haven't rock marched for a very long time and if I did, it was very sporadic between like years and months. So I'm very proud that I came in the first place as a U.S. soldier. Now that I participate with my uh, allies, ally soldiers, I feel, I feel like I'm part of something bigger than myself or bigger than just our own unit and that I'm able to witness other very uh, impressive foot marchers. Hello, I'm uh, Captain uh, Gabriela Nohai. I'm from uh, Iron Cheetahs. I'm the officer with Public Affairs. Uh, it's my uh, first competition who I participate. It was hard, but uh, I succeeded. It means a lot for me. I didn't expect that uh, to be the first. I just wanted to finish in time, but uh, I'm very happy. Uh, it's a good uh, spirit of cooperation and uh, that demonstrate that uh, we are uh, stronger together.